Now Provost Welsh will introduce the candidate for the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters, Dr. Welsh. The university presents the honorary degree, Doctor of Humane Letters, to individuals whose service has resulted in significant contributions to higher education, the community, to his or her field of endeavor, or to society in general. Today, Towson University recognizes Ms. Judith Jamison. Madam President, it is my honor and privilege to present Ms. Jamison for the awarding of the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, I ask Regent Thomas Slater to escort Ms. Jamison to the center podium. <clears throat> Judith Jamison is one of the undisputed artistic legends of our time. She has been celebrated across the globe as a dancer, choreographer, artistic director, educator, author, and cultural ambassador. Her gift in artistry as a dancer was quickly recognized at the Philadelphia Dance Academy and the American Ballet Theater before she joined the Ab Alvin A Ailey American Dance Theater as a principal dancer. Where there she became Alvin Ailey's muse and the inspiration for some of his greatest works. Ms. Jamison took over an artistic, as artistic director of Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater in 1989, and the company thrived under her leadership both fiscally and creatively. She led Alvin Ailey Dance Theater across the globe, performing before world leaders, including the Kenyan president, the inauguration of President Clinton, and the White House State Dinner. Ms. Jamison's dedication and unflagging commitment helped realize Alvin Ailey's dream of finding a permanent home, a gleaming 56 million facility in Manhattan. And after stepping down as artistic director last year, Ms. Jamison moved into the role of artistic director emeritus. She was named one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people in the world. And during the 2002 win, yes indeed, During the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City, she carried the Olympic torch. Ms. Jamison is the recipient of an Emmy, American Choreography Award, the NAACP Making a Difference Award, the BET Honors, and the Paul Robeson Award for the Actors' Equity Association. She is the recipient of the Kennedy Center Honors Award and the National Medal of Arts her autobiography, Dancing Spirit, was edited by the late Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. And in 2011, First Lady Michelle Obama honored Ms. Jamison with a dance celebration at the White House. Ms. Jamison is an advocate for dance education, bringing the arts into communities and schools and universities throughout the United States. And one example of that is the Alvin Camp which is a summer dance program for inner city youth that promotes self-esteem and discipline and self-respect, critical thinking and perseverance. Now we have a video clip that we want you to look at before we present the honorary degree. We want you to take a look at this on this remarkable gift to America. Alvin Ailey wanted to celebrate what he couldn't see celebrated, that the image of African Americans, the beauty of it, the enormous talent that was out there was not being seen. He wanted to celebrate our experience, but he also wanted you to know that that's a universal experience. And he did. In 1971, I made a dance called Cry, dedicated to all black women everywhere. I was fortunate to have one of the most extraordinary young dancers I'd ever met, a lady named Judith Jamison. I can't forget the way she danced. She has such an enormous personality. 
that when she stepped on the stage in five minutes, the entire public was in her hand. Alan Ailey's dream of opening and giving dance to everyone is now reality. This is a vast organization started by Mr. Ailey's vision. From the beginning, we've all had that commitment, this passion about what we do, and that is what propels us into the future. It's the responsibility that we have to continue his legacy. It is one of the greatest privileges of my career, Ms. Jamison, in recognition of your advocacy, preservation, and lifetime commitment to the development of dance and the arts, it is my great privilege to confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Picture taking time, folks. You know that. You've been doing this all day, or you're about to do it all day long. Thank you. Thank you. How are y'all doing? Is that it? That's what I love to hear. I'm going to do a little speech because I know you're trying to get your diplomas. And then you're trying to get to your families. And families, you're trying to get to your children so you can get together and hug each other. Isn't family wonderful? Isn't it? Thank you, President Lusky. Where are you? Thank you. Thank you so much. It is an honor for me to be here. And rather than me just fly by the seat of my pants like I usually do when I danced, I will stick to a script uh, that I fortunately have put together. And it makes some sense to me, so I hope it makes some sense to you. <sighs> Congratulations on your appointment as president of your alma mater. Isn't it wonderful to have a woman in charge? <laughs> Teacher, dean, now president, that's a wonderful story. I also want to give a shout out to the woman I was grinning at over here. You saw me constantly looking to my right. Well, you know her as Assistant Professor Linda Denise Fisher Harrell, an outstanding dancer, a consummate performer, and a generous teacher. She was a dancer in the Ailey Company under my directorship, and I have some great, vivid memories of her artistry and her passion. You are so fortunate to have her. Passion is important. I've heard that said today a few times, especially when you are just embarking on this journey after your graduation. For a long period of time in my life, the way I communicated was through dance. But in order for what I was doing on stage to translate to the audience, I had to be passionate about what I was doing, about life and living it in the most profound way I knew how. Embracing a spiritual enrichment that included experiences both good and bad catapulted and helped me evolve into my leadership role in the consciousness of service. In any area of our lives, the people who make a difference fervently and vehemently care about their cause or their mission. All the key ingredients of my leadership have been supported by my passion 
And what is my passion? I believe that the arts and artists add vibrancy and vitality to the cultural landscape to any community. I am passionate about children being transformed by seeing performing artists, by seeing the performing arts. I'm passionate about seeing people come into the theater as individuals and leave as a part of a community, altered by seeing themselves reflected in the humanity and the generosity of the dancers. I think as we venture into the 21st century, it's imperative that young people be guided by the principle of service. I deserve to serve you. It's a talent we all have. No one lacks the skill to care for another human being. Skill suggests that this talent has to be learned and practiced. Skill has been represented in my life as a dancer and as an artistic director. It's a talent that I see in every dancer in the Ailey Company and their ability to serve others by their excellence in performance. This excellence is in the service to the audience. At Ailey, we know how important it is to serve. If we didn't know how, we wouldn't have been around and still are around these last 53 years. We understand what it is to stay connected to the communities that we serve, be they across the street or around the world. So as I say to you, now, take that great leap of faith, not into the abyss, but into a shining path that is possessed by all of us. It is an internal light that never fails. We leave it and think it grows dim, but it it's always ablaze within our hearts. And when you think on that, as you step into your lives of service, know whatever you do, you've learned the skills and are growing in excellence, but you must keep practicing. See that the other human being is just as capable as you are to walk a shining path. You deserve to serve others as they serve you, joyously, without expectation of reciprocation, lovingly, with a sense of empowerment and a sense of humor, always knowing spiritual reciprocity is a never-ending spiral upward that lets us lift each other up each step of life's journey. Good luck, Godspeed, be fierce, Sing your song, dance your dance, graduate and party for a minute, and have a great trip. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Janison.